Hi guys, welcome back to Geeks Wargaming and welcome to our latest video. So this weekend I am at a Horus Heresy narrative event. It's the Aggression of the Ghoul Star, which is being hosted by our good friends from Greetings from the Warp. Um, I'm three games today, two games tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to this. It should be good fun. It's been a while since I've been to a Heresy event. First game for the Ultramarines. Mission is called Grave Mistake. Six objectives down on the board. Kill points in play as well. Victory objectives possibly worth nothing or probably worth six. And I am facing Traitorous Mechanicum in my first game. Should be good fun. That is it. End of game one. Ultramarines win. Tabled my opponent on the sixth and final turn. This thing is scary Just to get Gulliman into combat. He had four hall points left right at the end of the battle and Gulliman stripped them off. Um, 11 victory points to five. And he, he only destroyed my Sparta, my Jet Bikes, my Praetor, my Chaplain and my Suzerains. And I take secondary and tertiary and Toby took primary. But great game, great first opening game. A tabling. Do I think that's going to continue into game two? Probably not. So we head into game two. I'll be joined against Chris and his Sons of Horus. This look lovely, so Chris just deploying down at the moment. So mission two is the Crowns of the Dead. And it's slightly different. So if an independent character is killed, they become an objective which is worth five victory points at the end of the game if you control them from turn four onwards you have to be within one inch of an objective to hold it and not the normal three so it's going to be quite interesting been a little while since i faced sons of horus looking forward to getting stuck in so it is the ultramarines to go first unless the sons of horus can seize go on chris what you got no that was a really close game. Ended in a draw. I took primary. Chris took secondary. And then we drew on at tertiary. But yeah, lots and lots of things dead. The only thing left for the Ultramarines is Gulliman. The Suzerain. Uh, no, the Suzerains are dead. So it is literally left for me a one Rhino, my Xiphon Flyer, the Drop Pod, kind of. Uh, oh no, the Suzerains are there. Praetor and Gulliman. And that is it. Wow, what a game. Very bloody great fun. So here we go into game three, and I've been drawn against the word bearers. Quite a scary list. Lots and lots of drop pods, including a dread claw in here. Um, Ultramarines are deployed across the battlefield, but lots of open spaces for these to come in, and not only drop pods coming in from the sky. Scorpius Whirlwind, Command Tank, and the Derideo Dreadnought right at the back of the battlefield can come in anywhere. But it is the word bearers to go first, unless the Ultramarines can seize, which they do not. What a game that was. That was very bloody. It is a win for the Ultramarines in the third game. I got 17 kill points to eight. I took primary, secondary, and tertiary good fun game really really good fun game didn't know how that was going to go but it worked out quite well so then guys just got back to the hotel at the end of day one three really really good games today I've got to say really enjoyed all of them so first game against mechanicus uh, managed to table him on turn six um, that massive great big weapon that the mechanicus have you know the big long one that's the d blast one he fired three D blasts at Gulliman and Gulliman shrugged him off. And finally, that was the only thing left on the table with four hall points left. And Gulliman went in with his AP1 power fist and just smashed him and blew it up. Um, quite a big explosion. Gulliman managed to survive that as well. So, yeah, really, really good game. We then moved on to game two and I played Sons of Horus. Um, turned out to be a draw. Really good game, really bloody, lots of units died, lots of death and carnage all over the place. Um, but yeah, really, really good fun game. Didn't lose Gulliman again. Then we moved into game three um, and I played the word bearers, um, scary list, seven drop pods and ta uh, almost tabled him 
um, 17 kill points racked up. So I end the day on 37 kill points. And in There's two rooms that you play in. And in the room that I'm in, I'm the highest of the loyalists with kill points. So I'm on 37. So that's not bad. The highest traitor I think has got about 40. So I'm not that far behind the highest place traitor. Um, great games. Really good fun. Tiring. Three games in one day always is. Two more games tomorrow. Um, it is a narrative campaign. I quite like the way the missions um, work. So objective markers can move away from you or they can double or they can disappear. I quite like that and it's, it's different in every single mission. So you know what, um, it's a really good tournament. Really enjoy seeing all the guys from Greetings from the Warp again. It's been really good fun. Uh, meeting up with Tom and everybody as well. So yeah, we head over to day two. Two more games, doing okay. No losses so far. I haven't lost Rebute Gulliman all throughout today. I haven't even faced another Primark yet. The armies I've faced haven't had a Primark in. So I'm enjoying it so far. I'm hoping for two nice draws tomorrow, but it's Swiss pairs and the way that my tournaments are going, I might get a harder, tougher list tomorrow. So yeah, I'm gonna go and get a couple of beers. So this is it, first game of the second day, and I'm facing the Sons of Horus, and I'm facing a Primark for the first time this weekend. So we have Horus Lubricow versus Gulliman on the table. We also have lots and lots and lots of Castlax on the board, which is always quite scary. The mission we're doing is called Honor the Dead, some kind of shenanigans going on with the objective markers as we hold them. So let's go see how this one pans out. Wow, that was brutal. First loss for the Ultramarines, first time I've lost Gulliman. Horace down here. Wow. Just a slobber knocker of about three or four turns of combat with Rebute Gulliman before Gulliman was finally pulled down. But yeah, first loss, only gained four extra kill points on that mission. Not helpful, but yeah, great fun all the same. This is it, fifth and final game of the event and I've been joined against Paul and he's amazing looking thousand sons lots and lots of terminators and we have Magnus all the way down here as well to <laughs> deal with so mission is called battered bastards of death basically when you hold an objective you roll a dice on a roll of one or two your opponent gets the victory point so it's slightly up for grabs is slightly interesting, but there's a hell of a lot of two up, three up Terminators out here. That's it. That is the final game of the event. Gulliman has pulled down Magnus in combat. I'm survived with two wombs remaining. Uh, I lost all of my support squad that were with him, but Gulliman alive, Magnus dead. It is a loss, though, for the Ultramarines. Lost primary just by two, and secondary... Um, just kill points just overwhelming but I took tertiary because of price of failure and slay the warlord so I just got back from the ghoul stars event game four uh, against the sons of Horus that was tough those Castlax just um, I ignored them as much as I could and to be honest they didn't really do a great deal after they destroyed my Spartan which is always a bit painful Lost Gulliman as well for the first time in any combat. That went down to uh, Horace Loop called himself, pulled him down. Um, but a lot of damage. Had Horace down to three wounds. It could have gone either way, really. Uh, but yeah, that was my first loss of this weekend. And then we moved into game five, and I was against Magnus with 30 Terminators, two Fire Raptors. Um, I killed 20 of his Terminators. I did the most damage to that force that's been done over the entire of the weekend. And I managed to kill off Magnus with Gulliman. Um, so I will take that every day. And it's really funny because in that, on a roll of one or two, your opponent got the victory point. And all the way through, he was giving me victory points. Um, and I was winning on primary and tertiary. He'd got secondary. Up to the very last dice rolls. And he had three objectives. And he rolled and he beat me on the primary by 11-9 because of those three rolls. If he'd have given me any of them, really, it'd have either been a draw or a win to me. Um, so, yeah, it was really, really good, fun event over the two days. It's been nice to meet up with everybody. It's been nice to have a laugh. Um, I also managed to walk away with the God Machine Kills certificate. 
Um, so I will take that. But yes, it's been really, really good fun. It's been nice going back to a heresy event. Uh, been a little while, uh, almost a year since the last heresy event that I went to. So it's it's nice to go back uh, and get involved in that scene again. But yeah, really great tournament put on from the guys from Greetings from the Warp. So massive thank you to all of them, except Marlo. Um, but yeah, go check them out on Facebook, guys. They they do lots of events. They're well worth attending. They're uh, really good, really fun, independent tournament scene. And I would highly, highly recommend them. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, please uh, like, share and subscribe. Don't forget the link on the bottom of this where you can get 15-25% discount at Element Games. And as always, we will see you on the next one.